Hello everybody and welcome back to the Mega Modded series. We are jumping in once again. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh my lord. He's back. And you know what? Redemption. It's redemption time, baby. I will not be bested by Tainted Andromeda. You cannot scare me. What? What's our goal? Mega Satan. You cannot scare me, Tainted Andromeda. I... I will indeed one day best you. Now, I've actually won a few runs in before, and I actually won a run where we... Oh, what have I done here? Uh, <laughs> that was terrible. I just put myself in a corner. I actually did win a run where I got Dr. Fetus's character, which is literally just the um, Ipecac challenge from the base game, Suicide King. <laughs> it's literally just that. It's, it, it was insane. Anyways, uh, as for the question today, just because we're playing a space-themed um, space theme character. I thought I'd ask, I'm going to generalize it a little bit for those of you that maybe aren't into space as much. Initially, I was going to ask what's your, uh, what's something like a scientific discovery that, that you found really interesting, but for some of you that, that, um, that maybe aren't into that as much, what's just a discovery, like something new that's come about, whether that be like nature, science, space, whatever, that's like really, really interested you. Uh, for me, I've been watching a lot of, um, Oh god, I've been watching a lot of uh, Kerskagard. I can't remember the YouTube channel's actual name now, but it's something along those lines. You know which one I mean. The one with the really good animations that talks about science. It's incredible. Oh my lord. Things are not going well. Um, yeah. Ooh, baby. Do you know what that's worth? It's worth exactly 1.5 soul hearts is what it's worth. But anyways... Um, while it's not like a, a recent discovery in terms of like actual human history, it's probably been known about for a long time. It's a recent discovery for me. God damn, I'm getting hit a lot right now. Uh, it's a recent discovery for me. There was uh, one of the episodes they did about the immune system. And one of the things they talked about is like an organ that we have that like resides sort of just above the lungs that is basically there for the sole purpose of making sure we don't kill ourselves. And I don't mean as in like controlling suicidal thoughts. That would be a very, very genuinely good organ if we had that. But uh, no, unfortunately that doesn't exist. No, what it does is the way that your body works to create a library of, um, of like like your defensive white blood cells to get, to get those sort of going and basically have them ready for to attack and prevent against any disease, virus, whatever. Essentially, your your body just splices things together. Splices different, um, I think it's genes, and I'm not exactly sure what it is that it splices, but anyways, it splices different things together in your body to make uh, every single possible combination of cell that it possibly can. And of course, during the process of doing this, like, it's, it's a very, it's a very good thing to do, but, because it, because it means that, it, that it's always prepared. But the, the sort of problem with that is when you're mixing and matching pretty much every thing in every which way to discover everything, you of course are going to end up creating some of the things you're trying to defend against. You're going to end up trying to, again, creating some problematic cells that could be cancerous or, or whatnot, some, some things that could be deadly to the body. And so there is an organ that's, that's specifically designed to make sure that when that happens, which it does often, it's there to stop it from killing us. Because if we didn't have that, apparently we'd just die. <laughs> like, we'd just end up the, the, this... Our, like, white blood cells would produce different cells to try and combat against disease, prepare us for the eventuality of us getting a virus or disease, and in doing so, create the virus or disease or create the illness that could just kill us. And I find that hilarious. Like, the... Like... Obviously, I'm just getting this uh, information from the YouTube channel. I don't know much more deeper understanding of it. Um, I am a, a relative newbie when it comes to understanding that sort of stuff. Do you know what? I'm going to take a boss item. Oh, we've got creatine powder. That's what I'm talking about. Um, yeah, like, I, I'm not going to say I'm relatively ill-informed for the most part. Hey, we got a planetarium on the first floor here. Uh, Ill-informed as, as far as it goes, really, in terms of, of knowledge about that. I'm just kind of pulling the information from the video that I watched, and I haven't really further looked into it, which I definitely should. Oh, God, this is a horrible room. Um, but, yeah, I, I've just found it fascinating. I always find that, that stuff really interesting. I did watch the video about three or four weeks ago now, so I'm probably missing out some very key facts and details. If you haven't watched it, 
please please do go ahead and look at it. It's called Kerskers Guard in a nutshell. The, the, the channel's very popular. I'm sure you've seen the videos recommended if you haven't watched them already. Uh, and yeah, that's that's the channel that I just love watching for finding out different, like, scientific discoveries. Different, like, things to do with, like, theories to do with space and, like, black holes and, and aliens. And they go over lots and lots of different stuff. Quite in-depth, really. Um, and there was quite interesting. So I thought, yeah, it'd be kind of a... Considering we've got a singularity-themed character here, it'd be kind of interesting to hear what people's thoughts are about, like... What's your most interesting discovery or, like, um, sort of scientific thing that's happened recently? It's a very broad question, I realise that, but I, I feel like for the ma for the majority, I have uh, garnered a reasonably intelligent viewer base. I'm not gonna... I, I can't speak for everyone, I don't honestly... I don't actually know, but I feel like um, the, major the vast majority of you here... Uh, smart fellas and you're, you're probably intrigued in this sort of stuff the same way i am like it's obviously not going to be a one-to-one -one ratio but one, one like interesting thing about doing youtube is because obviously people come for the content to start with but then you usually stay for the personality or at least i hope you do um and do you know what we might as well get some pennies here and get some extra charges or we can get a single spider it's exactly what i wanted um oh really not a single penny <laughs> Like, I was hoping for at least one. At least one. Yeah, and it's, it's kind of an interesting thing, really, because... Why did we only get one charge for that? Oh, because we don't get charges for room completion, you moron. Um, yeah, like, people eventually stay for the personality, and so therefore, a lot of the time, I share a lot of interests with the viewers, which is real cool. Because it means that it's the reason that you're watching. You're watching because you like my commentary, which is because of the personality that I have, which must in some way associate with the personality you have, otherwise you wouldn't be interested. So it means that I can kind of talk about topics like this with relative confidence. Damage up for new explorer rooms, that's really good for us, yeah. Um, with relative confidence that you guys are going to find it interesting. Now that is not a, not a, a blanket statement. Not everyone watches for specifically the personality, and also not everyone is going to completely one-to-one -one ratio um like have the same beliefs as me or have the same interests as me but i do i do kind of like the idea that like i could ask a question like that and for the most part be reasonably confident the vast majority of you are also interested or at least somewhat interested yeah and we've got a very good item from our planetarium there some of the modded planetarium items um are really really cool i think this one is from the andromeda character mod i'm not a hundred percent sure on that but Nice to have. Ooh, I just noticed there's a, a movable TNT barrel in that previous room. Now, the question is, do we put it next to these, or do we hope for a secret room at this other room? I'm going to hope for a secret room. It takes c considerably longer to push this barrel over that way, but I feel like... Oh, I feel like it's it's a decent idea. Um, I've just had myself, like, a, a full beauty regime, like, literally just, like, five minutes ago. Because, essentially, so, obviously, as a lot of you know, I had corona recently. Uh, I had COVID. And I, 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 like, I was pretty ill, but I'd basically, like, not gone outside in a really long time. Uh, for, like, a week and a half. Um, like, not even to the shops or anything. And then, like, after I got better, I just kind of got used to not going outside. So, still didn't go outside. And I hadn't shaven and I, I had showered, but <laughs> I still, like, um, I felt, like, a bit, I don't know, icky. So I just, like, shaved and got a shower and put on some fresh clothes, and I'm feeling good. Uh, right. I think we're going to produce a devil deal. I'm, I'm into it. Ooh, Bob's Curse is pretty nice for us here. Uh, Bloody Gust. It's not great, but we're taking damage often enough for it to actually be relevant, which is... Sad. <laughs> um, ooh, we get green tears now. I don't really know why, considering Bob's Curse doesn't give us poison shot, but do you know what? Cool. Uh, I'm going to gamble one more time. You little stinker. Right, secret room-wise, where do we think we're looking? So, he is obviously potential. Hmm. In fact... I'm fairly certain now that it's here. Yeah, there you go. And this is one of my secret rooms, actually. It gives you a random one of the uh, 
options here. Unfortunately, we got the least valuable option of all of them. Um, yeah, we got a key out of it. Not terrible. I could maybe go to the shop and spend some money there, but do you know what? I'm just going to say adios, amigo. Go down. I was planning on going to the alt path here, but honestly, Tainted Andromeda, plus the fact that we only have a single key, making me feel like maybe not the best idea. So let's just carry on the regular path. And just keep her going. Just keep her going. But yeah, that, that's, that's something I, I, I always really like about YouTube. In general, like, I'm, for one, I'm just really appreciative at the minute that my channel's doing well. And it's actually doing, at least at the time of recording this, the videos are doing exceedingly well. And I don't know why. And they've just all of a sudden, maybe it's the update that came out for Isaac, but all of a sudden my videos are getting like 2.5, 3k views, which is like three times the normal amount, which I'm very appreciative of and thank you all for uh, constantly supporting. Also, another huge thing that I forgot to mention happened today. Today is the anniversary, uh, like I said, the day of the recording, is the anniversary, the one, what in the shit is wrong with people? What are you, why? Please, people, test your rooms. This is not okay. Not okay at all. It's a horrible room. Anyways, enough of my complaining. Um, yeah, it is the one year anniversary of Repentance coming out today. Uh, never mind. There's a red button right in the fucking middle. Uh, still, though, wasn't the four mushrooms surrounding that button. That's still a bit tight. But, yeah, th that's the annoying thing about this. We can't actually see the buttons. Um, so, uh, my apologies, the room isn't quite as bad as I first assumed. It's still not good. I still don't like it, but <laughs> I'm not gonna, I I'm gonna revert back some of my complaints. Um, some good stuff there. The half soul heart, especially top tier on my list. Right, let's, cr ooh, hello. Let's cr I'm hoping for soul hearts out of this bad boy. Lawful. Yes, baby. Lawful. You've got to be kidding me with Lawful. We actually had... Did we have Lawful the last time we played Tainted Andromeda? Either way, it's, it's a very good pickup as this character. Potentially very good. God damn. We got it pretty early compared to last time as well, which is nice. I think I should definitely go to my shop here. But yeah, it's the one year anniversary of uh, Repentance of the Day of me recording this, which is crazy because... That means that I have been doing daily Isaac videos for a year. And I don't think I've missed a single day either, which I'm pretty happy about. Uh, I will definitely take that. Do you know what? Let's uh, grab ourselves an item as well. You bastard. Really? That was a pathetic amount of pennies. Speedball looks like we're in the boss pool. Speedball's still pretty good though. We were, we were kind of in need of speed. And also, I'm still unsure if shot speed is good or bad for this character. I still don't really know. I'm going to say it's good, because he starts with high shot speed, which to me seems like it would be good. Strange room there. Um, hello, sir. You are problematic-ish. This, this room variation is a little saucy. Do you know one thing I will say? As much as some of them can be a bit of a pain in the ass. I really love like Rooms Galore and a few of the other room mods that add new boss layouts because there's like so few boss layouts in the game. So it's so nice to see like some additional ones. Yeah, we are definitely in the boss pool. Foul Gut is incredible for us here. It's literally just a 3 HP up, I believe. Oh wait, was that a 2 HP up or a 3? Either way, it's it's decent. Um, It might not be incredible. It's decent. All right, let's go. I should have maybe saved the, uh, the singularity for the next floor knowing that that was the boss pool. But well, Speedball can be in a few item pools, right? It's not just the uh, the boss pool it's in. I think it's in the treasure pool as well. But yeah, obviously, sort of peak performance item pool. Secret room, angel, devil, uh, curse room. Even shop would be pretty good. Uh, there, there's some really, really good ones out there that we could get. So, hoping for something good. I'm kind of hoping for an active item, actually. We haven't had an active item yet. Normally, as Andromeda, active items troll the hell out of me. I get tons of them. Um... 
but I haven't had any so far, so we'll see. But it really always obviously just depends on how many consumables we end up getting. Uh, pickups, should I say? I always call pickups consumables. Wrong way around. But you know what I mean. Right. One thing we'd really like is some pretty decent way to generate. Also, this is a bad room. That, 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 that bomb fly, yeah. That bomb fly was being a bit saucy there. Uh, another shot speed up. Wow. Um, eternal chest? Potentially okay? I don't know. Okay, I, I feel like shot speed is a good thing on this character. This seems to be a little bit easier to hit things. Got him. Nice. Let's crack that bad boy open. Are you kidding me? I'll crack it again. Not very happy about that. I didn't mean to do that, but we got IV bag. It's an active item. It's not a good one. It's not one that we'll ever use, but it's an active item. The game has technically done what I asked it to. It found a loophole. But it's also made me use both my keys, which I was hoping to use at least one for the shops. I'm a little annoyed at that. And maybe the eternal chest too, so... All round, you've, you've kind of dicked on me here, game. It's a rainbow poop boy. But yeah, as, as I was saying, like, having different boss rooms, it's a really minor thing. And especially when they add difficulty, they can feel a little annoying. But just even if they're more difficult, adding the variance and the, the difference, the change, is super nice. Also, got damn dumpies. And it's quite funny, recently uh, Alexa did a video where he played... Um, he played some Repentance modded with Kilburn. And Kilburn is at heart a modder. He started off as a modder. Ooh, there you go, another syringe. Seems like we're in the boss pool again, right? Um, yeah, at heart he's always been a modder. Um, but he hasn't actually looked at the modding scene for Repentance all that much at all, really. Uh, so he he got to have a look at it with, with Alexa. Um, it, unfortunately, it wasn't the best because he had quite a few crashes and stuff, but... That's just the nature of modded repentance sometimes. Also, this is hilarious. You can't have the coin, boy. Um, Angel pool is... Uh, well, I say angel pool. Do you know what? This time, yes. Let's um, let's go to the next floor first before we uh, before we go ahead and pop it. Just, just in case it is the boss pool. But yeah, getting an angel room is actually pretty useless. But yeah, um, he, he saw that someone had made a mod that adds little dumpies back and he was like... Why? Oh, we got Bloody Lust and Bloody Gust as well now. It's kind of funny. Why isn't that a, a transformation? Oh, God. Thank God I had the uh, holy mantle there. Um, yeah, he was like, why the hell would anyone add this enemy back into the game? These were terribly designed. This was one of my worst mistakes ever. <laughs> I found that so funny. It's like, I completely agree with you, Kilburn. I just have it on because it adds new rooms. New rooms... Variety is the spice of life, so to say. So I feel like I have to. Even though every single time, quite literally every single time I see them, I genuinely despise myself for downloading the mod. But, there you go. Ow, did I just walk into the fire? I've done that a few times this episode. Also, this is... Oh, God, this is a horrible room. What the... Oh, okay, there's creep on the floor. I'm getting hit by a lot of stuff. I got hit like four times in that room then. Also, again, just consumable drops have been kind of ass for us so far. Like, who needs a heart drop when we're playing this character? Just stop. Good, good. Oh, now that is what I'm talking about. Okay, I don't know what you're doing, sir. There's two of you down there. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lordy, Lord. Cool enemy, but goddamn. Them boys getting fresh. But yeah, we had like two charges this entire floor. It's just depressing. I knew you were coming. There's another one of you somewhere. There you are. Come on down, sir. Come on down. Oh. I keep forgetting golden pennies don't work. Bullshit. They should. Considering money's nearly useless. Just don't be evil. Oh, God. Oh, God. 
room I do not care for. What? Oh my lord. <laughs> I just got instantly hit the moment the room started. Oh, hello, sir. I'm, I'm getting these bombs. Not because I want them. Which I, I also do. But also just because... Oh my god, go away. No. Just because I want the charges. Where about Sam? I know. Okay, I gotta go all the way back. Sadly, that key is worthless to us right now. In a little bit of a sore spot right now. My health has diminished quite rapidly. I mean, we've got incredibly good damage, but my my actual HP is just so unbelievably bad. I've also got good fire rate too. I don't know where we got that from. Jello. I don't even know how this will work, but I'm I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued by Jello quite quite a lot actually. Do you know what? It's very good. Because we just get double shots for the room. Nah, neither of you are worth playing. Unfortunately, if there was a regular beggar in there, I'd be playing that in a heartbeat, but there is not. Let's try and save Jello for the boss now. We might as well blow you up. Not worth it. That really was not worth it. My god. I'm going to keep the chariot card as well for a, a sort of panic situation. Oh, I'm, lo I'm loving that though. Where we can walk into a room and just kind of destroy straight away. Yeah, don't mind about shot speed down. We've had so many shot speeds up that shot speed down doesn't really affect me all that much. That's lovely. That is genuinely gorgeous. What a beautiful sight to behold. But yeah, how have how have all you been? How have all you guys been getting on? It's always nice to know. Thank you for giving me the soul heart after me making that mistake. It's always nice to know. Am I getting like a scaling fire rate bonus? Wait, does, does gusty blood last for the floor? I thought it lasted for the room. It seems like it lasts for the floor. Oh, why'd I go in there? Stupid. To be fair, going in there does give us a damage up for the floor, so it's not all that bad. That for the charge, I guess. Why not? Oh, it's also made our tears all spooky. Yeah, let's just go. Like, boss fights like this are crazy. Um... Shade. Thanks. Oh wait, this is an XL floor, I didn't realise. Should have uh, saved my active item then really, but oh well. The Curse of Darkness with the with the dark portal in the middle is just horrible. <laughs> um I'm gonna take this. I don't know why I even went in there, there's no point. I'm doing this just because we have Jello. If we didn't have Jello, I would not be doing this. Also, I'm hoping the Curse of Darkness wears off, like, pretty fucking soon. Because I can't see anything right now. Genuinely awful. But yeah, if you didn't know, Jello stacks. <laughs> so, pretty good stuff. I'm hoping we can somehow get another charge here and get Guppy. We're very close. Just look at the amount of tears we're firing right now. Crazy. Please, Cast of Darkness, go away. This is so horrible. Oh, what the hell? Savage. Like, we are insta-killing. Also, I placed these pedestals in, like, the worst place I possibly could.
This is incredible. <laughs> so many jellos. Also, seeing the new champion bosses here is really entertaining. The new champion, like, re-sprite, should I say. They're not actually new champions. Goodbye. I don't know where the last Gerdy is, but he's dying soon. How have you not been hit yet, Gerdy? Where are you? Ah, you're on the other side of the death beam. I understand now. God damn it, I really think that the Titan Andromeda needs a fix for this Curse of Darkness. Like, the ball in the middle is just like eating all light that exists, which is like cool for like the character, but gameplay wise, it's absolutely horrendous. Look at this! Cool champions, they look so good. Oh damn, he jumps right on me. Was not expecting that for some reason. Don't do it again. Dick. I said don't do it again! What did I just say? Make your way over here, I dare you. He is not daring to. Where the hell are- Get out the corner! There you go. And I forgot we'd lost the item. Little devil, it is what it is. Let me escape from the darkness here, because it is horrible. Oh lord, I think it perpetuates to the next floor. Oh! We can finally see! And we have zero fire rate now. God, this feels terrible now. Also, we can't produce items anymore, which is sad. Also, my health is incredibly low. Yeah, this is just depressing. We need to get hit, like, a lot. <laughs> I bet this character can't have red hearts, otherwise, um, IV bag would have genuinely been a very good pickup. Just use my little fire dude, because I'm having trouble hitting this dude. Do you do remember we've got a chariot if we desperately need it? I'd rather not have to use it, but we have it. Yeah, we can use Singularity in the boss fight and get items that way, but otherwise we can't get any items, which is just a huge bummer. I think considering how difficult this character is, that, that limit, that restriction isn't super necessary. The character's already quite hard. Oh, Lord. Stop. I'm, I'm definitely going to die on the womb. Yep. Just keep getting hit somehow. Do you know what? No. Let's not play this room that we don't have to play. Look up. Again. No. I don't have to play the room. I ain't gonna play it. <laughs> okay, you shouldn't be too bad, right? We've been hit a good amount of times now as well, so... Why? Why? No. Go away. That is very gross. No, thank you. We just need Guppy. Give me Guppy. Okay. Damn it. I was really hoping for a way to get a health. Although this could potentially pair with some soul hearts. I mean, it could also pair with crystal ball, which, do you know what? I'm going to have to stick with. I'm sorry, Jello. You're an absolute G, but... Crystal Ball is incredible, and I never seem to see it, so I'm happy to have it for once. Yeah, and the, uh, the HP that we're getting through this is incredible. Yet again, this is another room that I'm, I'm just going to say no thank you to. I'm wasting my bombs here, but that is, that is not a room that I want to... The spikes in the middle! What the? Why? 
so frustrating. I can't see the damn spikes and stuff. Oh god, oh god, oh god, hello. Jello's twins. It's so frustrating that I can't see the heckin' spikes. Oh lord. That was a guaranteed hit of a room. This might also be, maybe. No, 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 it should be good. This is kind of a weird one. I don't know how the best to play this. I'm just trying to put in the fires in the corners. Hoping that helps. Oh, you gave me a card? Why? Magician's pretty good, though. Not a huge fan of this, but we can deal. Oh, why did you have to? You had to create kids, didn't you? I had to just speed through the middle there and hope for the best. Why is one of you loose? Oh no, they're all loose. I thought they were trapped on little islands. They're not. Good old room bag. God damn, we're going down. We are going down. It's not what I meant to do with that bomb there, if you can imagine. Oh lord. Okay. Okay. Now we can't use our active at all. I kind of forgot to use it on the last floor at the end of the fight there, I'll be honest. I forgot the boss charged it for a moment. Now using it will just give us a random consumable. Random pickup. Soul heart, thank you. Oh lord. Oh lord, this is not a room I'm a fan of at all. Oh, he's invisible. I was like, what, what, why is why is it still being produced? These girls still being produced. He's just running around invisible. I mean, I might as well just start popping this and hope for the best, right? You see, that was, that was pretty good. Oh, Emperor card. I got to. Right, for now this is okay, but things are about to get real, yeah, real tough real quick. Guppy's collar, you are my only hope. Oh god, we can't even kill him through the phase. Not good. Not good at all. I saw that shot coming in there. You tried it on with me. Stop moving. Isaac! You cock! Wait, 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 wait. So you're saying there's a chance. Small rock. It's not really what I was looking for in this situation, but... He better still be dead. He better still be dead. Otherwise, I'm going to throw down. Okay, he is good. God diggity darn. Better give me just a lot of HP here, please. That is some HP. That is also some HP. Not a lot of HP, but it is some. Again, so you're saying there's a chance. Not a huge chance. I'm hearing my phone go off. One minute. What the hell's going on right now? Okay, no, we're good, we're good. Oh god, this is... Quite something. Stop charging, please. I can't deal with this. I'm liking the creep puddles from the sailor's thing, the sailor's hat, whatever it was called. 
Oh my god, the dodges right now. The, the little fires from the little devil are like saving our ass so hard right now. There's a Yera. God damn it. I mean, I'll still pop it in here. Why not? We still need keys to open those, though, so... Yera's not exactly the saviour it seems to be. Double stain is... Double stain is a pain. A good way to remember it. You better pop up. God damn it. It's just annoying that we don't have, we don't really have good stats, especially fire rate, until we get hit a lot. Do you tell a fragging little cunt? Why is that allowed? Hello. Unfortunately, this guy can't kill himself with his own bombs anymore, so we don't have that luxury. I mean, he can, but he does a lot less damage to himself. He used to do like 100 to himself, now he does like 20. It got patched pretty recently. It's a good change. It was pretty dumb that he could kill himself so easily, but it makes our life a little bit harder. Okay, mapping's very good here. Ooh, mitosis. Pretty interesting. I'd really like some keys game. Keys would be Molly BM. Dice bag. I don't know. Do we do we stick with the damage or do we try and get a full reroll with dice bag? I think we try and get a full reroll with dice bag. Oh gosh. Not a good room. I don't, how, how, how does this work? Yeah, this is not good. Oh, what the hell? That's really not good. Okay, one of them's gone. That, that makes our life significantly simpler. Oh. Oh, no! What? This is, this is where these fettered hearts are bullshit. Why? Like, it's just screwed me. Like, if I had two keys, belter, but I don't. So it's just absolutely screwed me. It's really annoying that that can happen. Like, it shouldn't be able to screw you that hard. D8. We lost a lot of fire rate there. Oh, no. I gained some damage, but I just lost a ton of fire rate. I was really hoping I'd gain fire rate and lose damage. Well, I wasn't hoping I'd lose damage, but I was hoping if, if it would be either way around, it'd be that way around. The, the darkness. The darkness is too fucking much. I hate the darkness. You just can't see anything. Give me some keys. Please. I so desperately require keys. For so many reasons. Okay, I don't even know why I even used the D7 there. I was hoping we'd get a, a, re, a full run reroll, but that ain't looking all too possible now, is it? Whoa, whoa, we're halfway there. Whoa, whoa, we're living on a prayer. Turn three broken hearts into... Th How does this work? Okay, sadly it doesn't do anything. I was just checking, maybe does it give us a heart container? It does not. What the hell are these dudes? I was not ready for this jelly. It charged me. I can't hit this one either. Where'd it go? I got the D10. 
Nice. I mean, at least for the first stage of this, he's going to stay in the middle. Trying to be in a position to use my flames to block shots, but it's not going all that well. I can't believe we did it. That is that is a clutch, clutch win right there. Oh my lord, I'm so stressed. But goddamn, we did it. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. Absolutely fantastic episode. And I'll see you guys in the next one.